For this race, with the full competitive season underway, I wanted to get as much practice as I can with the Toyota GT86 Group 4 car, since I pledged to Toyota for the Manufacturers Championship. I had enough time for about 5 qualifying laps before being placed near the back. Knowing Brands Hatch, and knowing that most drivers in my division are so prone to rogue mistakes here and there, it was really a matter of maintaining consistency and clean driving for the entire event. Drive on pace, capitalize on mistakes, and block to win the race. Front of the grid was dominated by a bunch of Magan Trophy cars, and with their blistering pace, a crash at the front was all I could hope for. That doesn't happen too often in the B-slash S division. Most of the race I was pressured by Bernstein in the teal Nissan, so I gave up the position after he got a decent pass on me. I should have expected it, given that he got mixed up in a tumble on the turn 2 hairpin. As I said before, Brands Hatch is a circuit that demands consistency and driver respect. Its hills, crests, and narrow width can punish anyone. The minute you feel any wheel touch the grass, you're in for a spin. The curbs don't help too much either. Too narrow of a band in most fast sections, and the runoff areas are short, forcing you back onto the track. There's not a lot of margin for error here. There are a few good areas where you can make a pass, but it depends on the number of present factors to get the most out of it, one being other traffic. Even if you get ahead, being forced out or slowed down again doesn't help. Remember, Brands Hatch demands driver respect. That's both to the track and the other drivers. Also remember, drive on pace, capitalize on mistakes, and block to win the race. One of the reasons I chose the 8.6 for the Manufacturer's Cup is its innate balance on the pad. It's a very easy car to drive, isn't prone to understeer at the limit, and can maintain good momentum. This helps with the way that I drive, which is very defensively. On tracks with a ton of hard braking points, I can pivot the car well to hit apexes.
I can also bait opponents into making mistakes, freeing up the grid for me to maintain my pace uncontested. Know your car well, its strengths and its limits. And with that, cross the line. From 11th to 3rd with minimal practice isn't that bad. The front of the grid definitely got away, but mistakes made by other players as well as clean defensive driving helped me secure the podium. Thanks for watching. Follow me on the socials, links are below. Read my articles and scripts on Medium and look out for more content.